Isotretinoin is a vitamin A-like drug that is available both as a cream and an oral capsule. The capsule is the most effective treatment for acne. It is commonly known as Rakuten in Europe and Accutane in the USA. It has been used since the 1980s and has transformed many lives for the better. Rakutane tends to be kept in reserve for people with severe acne or acne that has not responded to conventional treatments such as creams, antibiotics and hormonal treatments such as special forms of the oral contraceptive pill. It is also used in people whose acne tends to come back quickly when their conventional treatments are stopped. Rakutane has to be prescribed by skin specialists. The dose depends on the patient's weight and the usual course lasts four to six months. Rakutane is very effective and at the end of the course, the majority of patients will not have any new acne lesions. However, it usually does not treat pre-existing scars. 70% of patients will remain acne free forever. In the remaining 30% of patients, the acne may recur and a further cause of racketing may be needed. At the beginning of treatment, it can take a few weeks for the drug to start working and in a small number of patients, their acne can initially worsen slightly in the first month before improving. Racketing has a number of side effects and almost everybody will experience some at some point during their treatment. However, most are mild and treatment can be continued. The most frequent side effects are drying effects on the lips, skin and eyes. Dry lips can be managed with regular Vaseline and licking the lips which can worsen symptoms should be avoided. Dry skin can be managed with an oil-free moisturiser. Sore nostrils and nosebleeds can also be helped with twice daily Vaseline applied to the inside of the nostrils. Dry red eyes can be a problem, especially for contact lens wearers, and some patients may need to avoid contact lenses until the end of treatment. Another common side effect is an itchy eczema rash on the back of the hands particularly during the winter months. Good moisturisation and washing with an emollient cream instead of soap, which tends to dry and irritate the skin further, will usually improve the skin. 1% hydrocortisone ointment twice daily can also be used on the eczema. Racketing can make the skin slightly fragile, therefore waxing is best avoided during treatment and up to one month afterwards. The skin can also burn more easily in the sun, therefore treatment should be started after the summer months or after sunny holidays if, to, if at all possible. If this is unavoidable, high factor sunscreen should be used. Muscle and joint aches are also quite common and can feel similar to after strenuous exercise. Generally, it does not restrict activities and the symptoms can be controlled by taking mild painkillers such as paracetamol intermittently. Or isotretinoin can produce a mild headache in some people. Again, mild painkillers can often help. If the headache becomes severe or there are changes to your vision, you should stop the treatment and see a doctor immediately. The more important side effects of isotretinoin are those related to pregnancy in women as well as mood change. The drugs can cause malformations to the unborn child. Therefore, it is essential that any female patient is not pregnant at any point during treatment until six weeks after the last treatment. The drug has no effect on future fertility. Women need to be either not sexually active or on two forms of contraception for a month before treatment until six weeks after the last dose. We usually advise that women use a hormonal form of contraception such as the oral contraceptive pill or an implant as well as a second form of contraception such as a barrier method such as condoms. 
All female patients have to sign a consent form indicating that they understand the above rules. Anyone who becomes pregnant during treatment or within six weeks of the last tablet will be advised to have a termination. The drug has no effect on future fertility and men who take isotretinoin can father children without any problems. The second important side effect is mood change. There has been concerns that racutane can lead to depression. About 1 in 1,000 people on racutane will get deterioration in their mood and patients may become anxious, depressed and sometimes even have suicidal thoughts. However, these mood changes are twice as common in patients on conventional treatments with antibiotics. In patients on racutane, it's actually more common for mood and confidence to improve due to significant improvement in their acne. However, we always warn people starting racutane about this problem and suggest that if they feel depressed or suicidal, the drug should be stopped immediately and urgent advice should be sought from their GP or dermatologist. Rarely, isotretinoin can produce inflammation of the liver and elevation of blood fats. Therefore, before starting medication and after four to six weeks of treatment, fasting blood tests to check liver function and blood fats need to be performed. It is very unusual for us to have to stop treatment because of any blood abnormalities. The other rare side effect of racutane is on night vision. This is seldom a problem for most people, although it's important for pilots to be aware that taking treatment may prevent them from being able to fly at night. Racutane can interact with a number of medications and therefore it is important for you to check with your doctor or pharmacist before starting any new drugs. Racutane is almost never given with tetracycline antibiotics used in acne, such as limacycline. Almost all the side effects from the drug clear up within a month of discontinuation. It may take up to two months for the dry lips to completely recover. Isotretinoin has transformed the management of severe and difficult acne since it was introduced in the 1980s. And these days there really is no need for people to suffer from bad acne.